Hi guys, sometimes you want to find out what devices are on your home network. It might be you want to ensure that you don't have any intruders or unwanted guests. Uh, secondly, uh, like myself, you may carry out a lot of work on IoT Wi-Fi devices, uh, particularly those which are solar powered, and you may want to find out if they're actually connecting to your network or not. Um, so I've written a script to help me do that. And the script, as you can see, is on the right it's called check alive nmap.sh what it does is it runs um, an nmap scan and takes that information uh, and then displays it on a web page such that um, it gives also gives the, the time the devices were last seen which can be quite useful i'm going to run the script now and if you can have a look at um, this guy 105 which is currently Last time we ran this, it was offline. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, the script's just running, doesn't take very long. So what happens now is I'm going to refresh the web page again. Look at this one, it's currently red, telling you uh, it's not currently online. Last time it was scanned. And you can see now that it's displaying as being online again. Um, so I hope you find this script, this script useful. I'm going to say something very briefly about the script. Uh, first of all, if you want the script, um, you can download it from my um, GitHub account, which I will provide um, in the notes below. And if you look at the I've got a directory called nmap underscore monitor ESP and here is the script itself. Just to say that it's it's a by script and as I said before what it does is it runs a an nmap report and then outputs it to a local file. This is part one. Um, and then manipulates it and the next thing it does is it creates a web page on the fly which I've shown, shown in the previous demo. Um, to run the script, you um, basically download it. And as you do with all by scripts, you need to have um, access to the NL admin access, typically on a Raspberry Pi or whatever. Um, you then run it and it'll create the, um, the required files for it. You also need a, a web server. And, um, and in the case of I'm using Apache and I need an uh, <coughs> I need basically a web page and it needs to be var www.html and you it's live underscore address dot html. You you can modify that depending upon what type of web server you're using. Uh, the other important thing is uh, you can only use this if you've got permission from the owner of the network. I mean if it's a Raspberry Pi at home, it's yourself. Um, could get you into trouble if you start using this at work on an unauthorized way and it shouldn't be used for that but it's quite a powerful little script and it's very find it very useful so please use it and enjoy it